And this is a competitive worker placement engine builder. And in this game, players are going to be playing as psychoanalysts as they analyze their patient's dreams and try to resolve their neurosis. And a really nice perk of this game delving into the unconscious mind and patient's dreams is that the game features some really interesting and whimsical art with each of the cards representing a patient's dream. And with the beautiful production and a really nice playtime for a worker placement game, as well as the game looking really solid, it's no surprise that this one is our Discord pick of the week. But the game plays over a number of rounds with each round having two phases and during the first phase players are going to be putting their workers out onto the main board in order to perform different actions and the different actions can allow you to gain tiles which you can then put onto your own personal player board to activate later, pay to upgrade your resources which you're going to be tracking on the circular resource track, or you can use your actions to gain different research cards which each come with different icons on them that you can combine together in order to publish works on different findings and meet different objectives to earn victory points in instant bonuses while also using the different tags on them for set collection that can earn you additional victory points at the end of the game. And there's also an action that allows players to move their meeple out on the city board in order to gain the benefit of that location. And of course the final action you can perform is to treat one of your patients. And in order to resolve the afflictions of their patients, players are going to have to gather and spend a certain amount of resources, and you're going to be gathering those throughout the game, and then each card's going to let you know what type of resources that they need in order for those cards to be resolved. But the catch here is that each of your patients will actually have multiple requirements that you have to resolve in order as you're digging deeper into their subconscious. But of course doing so can grant you some bonuses and victory points in order to help you win the game. And once players have performed all their actions, we move into the second phase where each player is going to be able to choose to do one of two things. They can either activate a column or row of their action tiles out on their player board, or instead they can choose to treat more patients if they have the resources available and are able to do so. And the game continues like this with players earning victory points for treating patients and performing the different actions out on the board and completing different objectives. And each time a player gains victory points, it's going to move the Sigmund Freund meeple up on the victory track as well. And once that meeple reaches the end of the track it triggers the end of the game at that point players are going to add up their existing victory points as well as any end game victory points that they're able to achieve and the player with the most victory points wins the game and if you want to know more about this one definitely go ahead and click to get notified and i have links in the description below